All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to reset and troubleshoot your automatic window roll down. So I actually just got back from a overlanding trip recently and my power did die. And this was the first time this has happened to me, but my automatic roll down is not working on the passenger side. So both sides, it's not working. And the lock also not in place, but the driver works and then the passenger works. What I also noticed was the automatic function. This has an automatic function. Typically when you press this, it goes all the way down. That also stopped working. So I knew that there was some problem. It wasn't just the passenger side. So we wanted to go ahead and try to do a reset. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first process is you wanna go ahead and roll down the window all the way down like so. And then the next thing you wanna do is grab that. You're gonna lift it all pull it back while it lifts all the way up. You're gonna let it wait for about five seconds. So let's keep waiting just to be safe, extra, and then release. Now it should be reset at this point. So if I'm pressing this, I'm hoping that it will roll down automatically at this point. There you go. So that shows that the reset worked. Let's go ahead and double check the passenger side. No still didn't work so it fixed that automatic part but it didn't fix that side so this actually might be a fuse issue let me try this once again i'll do another reset bring it back up nope all right and if it still does not work, as far as the passenger side, the fuse is down here for the power locks, but you don't have to access that first. What I would do is I would check to see if it rolls down from the passenger side. So both of those actually still work. So it's just basically a reset I feel like that it needs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start resetting the back right here first. So let's go ahead and bring it all the way down. And then we're gonna go ahead and lift it up and we're gonna hold it. Again, for about five seconds. And that should complete hopefully the reset. That's five. So let's double check. Hopefully it works. There you go. Now it works. The driver, driver still doesn't work. I mean, I'm sorry, passenger still doesn't work. So we're going to go back here. Let's go ahead and do another reset. Bring it down. Sorry, dog got in the way. Then we're going to bring it back up. Hold it. Let's wait for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Let go. Boom. It works. Easy fix. This is what happens if there is a disconnection in your power and you have to do a reset, this is how you'd probably do a reset. If that doesn't work, again guys, the fuse is right here in the kick panel of the driver's side, and then look for the 25 amp uh, fuses, and that's basically going to be for your power door locks. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Hope this helped you guys out with troubleshooting so that you guys don't have to bring this to a dealership.